Next is a time temperature transformation diagram. This is also called as a TTT diagram. So this diagram represent the transformation products of austenite that is into the perlite, bainite and martensite. So in this diagram on X axis, there will be the time and on Y axis, there will be the temperature. So uh, TTT diagram mainly represent the transformation of, of products of or transformation of the austenite into various phases. So initially, this is the temperature one line, A1 line, which is a 727 degree Celsius. So here, this curve represents the perlite transformation starts. That is the perlite formation starts. Then here, perlite formation finish line. So up to this, uh, this uh, middle temperature, so there will be the two products are formed by using the austenite. That is the austenite gets transformed into the coarse perlite and fine perlite. So here in this region, there will be the austenite. In between PS and PF curve in this region, there will be the austenite plus alpha plus cementite that is FP3C and in this region beyond this curve PF line there will be only the mixture of alpha plus FP3C. So it will be the coarse perlite for higher temperature range below the A1 that is a 727 degree Celsius and below that there will be the fine perlite. So for coarse perlite, the temperature is quite higher and for fine perlite, the temperature will be lower. Then next, there will be the transformation of austenite into the another phase that is a bainite phase at lower temperature than the fine perlite formation temperature. So this line represent the bainite starts that is a bainite transformation starts and this line represent the bainite transformation finish so here in this region at this temperature range there will be the austenite in this region there will be the mixture of austenite and bainite that is again alpha plus ap3c but in another shape and properties and here beyond this bainite finish line there will be the final product that is a bainite which is formed or present in the two form that is a feathery bainite that is a coarse bainite and equicular bainite that is a needle shaped bainite then again if the temperature is lower down then here there will be the 210 degrees Celsius temperature. So that is a martensitic start temperature. So this austenite gets transformed into the martensite in this region. Then this is a 150 degrees Celsius temperature line, which is a martensite finish temperature. So in this region, there will be the mixture of martensite plus austenite. So here amount of austenite goes on decreasing and amount of martensite goes on increasing. So here 99% martensite will be formed or produced and 1% of the retained austenite will be formed. So in this way, in this diagram, we can clearly see the formation or the product or transformation of austenite into the coarse perlite, fine perlite, then uh, feathery bainite, uh, then uh, needle bainite, that is upper bainite and lower bainite, then martensite. Next is again uh, another way we can see the time temperature transformation diagram. 
So here on x axis, we, there will be the time in second, that is one second, 10 second, 100, 1000 and 10,000 seconds. Then on y axis, there will be the temperature in degree Celsius, that is a zero degree Celsius to 800 degree Celsius temperature. So here, uh, this uh, red dotted line is a A1 line, that is a, a 727 degree Celsius line. So the temperature is called as eutectoid temperature. So here phase is a perlite phase. Then a transformation start line. This line is a st transformation start line. That is a transformation begin line. Then this uh, bottom most line is a transformation end line. So this uh, phase is a perlite. Then uh, once transformation ends, so the from 500 degree Celsius to 727 degree Celsius, there will be the coarse perlite and fine perlite products are formed. So this is the mixture of alpha plus AP3C. Again, lower the temperature from 210 to 500 degree Celsius. So the austenite gets transformed into the bainite. So there will be again a mixture of alpha plus AP3C plus, but hardness shows lower here for bainite. Then for martensite, here martensitic start temperature 200 degree Celsius and here martensitic finish temperature. So here in between this dotted line, the 50% martensite is formed from the austenite. So here austenite gets transformed into the martensite. So here at this temperature, the 90% martensite will get produced and uh, below this temperature, so the 99% martensite will get produced. So from TTT diagram, what uh, we clearly get the idea about the transformation of austenite into the perlite, transformation of austenite into the bainite, and transformation of austenite into the martensite. So perlite will have uh, two types, coarse perlite and fine perlite and bainite have two types that is a feathery bainite, upper bainite and needle bainite that is a lower bainite. Then martensite phase is a quite harder phase. Then bainite is a medium harder phase and perlite phase is a soft and ductile phase. Next is a critical cooling rate. So it is the rate which just bypass the nose of the TTT diagram or the rate of cooling necessary to just suppress the diffusion transformation or to avoid the diffusion transformation. Such curve is called as a critical cooling curve or critical cooling rate. Critical cooling rate depends upon the amount of carbon and alloying element. With increasing carbon content and aligned element except cobalt, the critical cooling rate decreases, that is a shift of nose of TTT curve to the right. Shift of nose to the right gives an idea about hardenability. So lower the cooling rate, higher is the hardenability. So lower cooling rate reduces the tendency of wrapping and cracking. So here in this diagram, you can clearly see the critical cooling rate. So this line is uh, called as a uh, perlite or bainite transformation starter line. Then this line is called as a perlite or a bainite finish line. Then if uh, the sudden cooling occurs, the curve which bypasses the nose of TTT diagram. So this is the nose region of the TTT diagram. And when the curve which bypasses the nose of TTT diagram, this curve is called as a critical cooling rate, which is generally occurred for the hardening process or quenching process. Means whenever there is a sudden cooling to get or to avoid the transformation of austenite into the perlite or transformation of austenite into the bainite, directly we get the transformation of austenite into the martensitic phase. 
so that will be the significance of the critical cooling rate or critical cooling curve the rate of cooling necessary to just suppress the diffusion transformation means uh, the uh, to avoid the diffusion transformation here austenite to uh, formation of perlite is a diffusion transformation then austenite to bainite formation is a, again diffusion transformation but austenite to martensite formation is a diffusion less transformation so if you want a harder material then critical cooling rate or cooling rate is the lower so the austenite is directly get transformed into the martensitic or hard needle shape phase so such cooling curve or cooling rate is called as a critical cooling rate which shows the bypassing of the nose of the ttt diagram so here this diagram also represents the critical cooling curve this dotted line is a critical cooling curve or the critical cooling rate on x axis there will be the time and on y axis there will be the temperature in degree celsius so here at higher temperature which is suddenly lower down the temperature to the room temperature or zero temperature with the minimum time so that is called as a critical cooling rate so thank you for watching critical cooling rate and the topic ttt diagram